Hey, how are you today? Just wanted to share another um, passage from Unblinded Faith with you. It's called From Stone to Flesh. What would you say is the state of your heart? Is it hardened? Maybe from the disappointments and devastation you've experienced in your past? Is it soft, full of God's love overflowing through you? My heart has been both. It was hard until the Lord transformed the stony places to flesh. The process took me by surprise. As he drew me into the book of Ezekiel, written by a priest who was called by God to prophesy destruction over Israel for their rebellion. Happy times, I tell you. <laughs> Fortunately, I had no idea what I was getting into when I headed to the, heeded the Holy Spirit's leading to crack open my Bible, grab a journal, and start studying. I poured through one chapter after another, completely bewildered and utterly confused by Ezekiel's prophecies, except for one verse. In Ezekiel 36, 26, I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. The prophet describes here how God takes a stony, stubborn heart and turns it into tender, loving flesh. That promise felt so incredibly personal as I considered the matter of stubbornness and the weight of stones residing in my heart. Over the next year, I often asked God what to do about these stones, and through the help of a godly counselor, he gave me the courage to go in for the dig. One memory at a time, he pulled back each layer of sediment formed by stones of guilt, shame, bitterness, anger. As he unpacked those stones, those wounds, he made room in my heart for Jesus to dwell more fully. The Lord can turn our stony hearts into his dwelling place transforming us with one healing truth at a time. Even if you don't have a backstory like mine, marred by abuse or rebellion, is it possible that you've allowed offenses and disappointments to harden your heart? I've had a hard heart. I am known for stubbornness. Are you? Um, I may not have the same um, history that Elise does, the one, the writer of this study, but we all have experienced things that have hardened our hearts. And I just, I envision God with a chisel, just nipping away a little bit at a time from that hard heart and shaping it and molding it into the person he wants us to be. Um, I pray you're going to join me in the process of giving God access to your heart. Because I know that it's hard to let go unless we allow God to fill it with something else. Only he may take up residence in us and flow through us unto those we love. It's hard for us to love until we feel, until we love ourselves. And it's hard for us to love ourselves until we know that God loves us. So I'm here to tell you that God loves you. And he um, wants you to be his. He wants you to be his child. And he loves you. <laughs> so claim that promise today. And get, um, get ready to let your heart go a little bit. Let your stubbornness go. Let your... Um, unwillingness go and listen to his leading it's amazing what blessings are around the corner when you follow his leading and let him nip away at your heart i'm going to read that passage again and i'm going to add a couple of verses so this is from it's uh, ezekiel 36 25 through 27 I will sprinkle clean water on you and you shall be clean from all of your uncleanliness and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk 
in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. I tell my kids it's hard to obey when we don't know what the rules are. It's hard to obey if we don't love the person who's giving us the rules. God asked us to obey to show him we love him. I pray that you will join me in loosening those uh, stubborn things that are going on in our hearts. And let's see what God will do in our lives. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please forgive me for having such a stubborn, hard heart. Help me, Lord, to let go of those insecurities, those um, those guilt trips that I may have, those um, just those rocks that stand in the way. Lord, break those apart. Take your chisel and get rid of them so that there's more room for you in my heart. Lord, I pray that you will um, also speak to those who are listening. I know, Lord, that um, my words don't do anything, but your words, your words are what reach hearts. So I just pray that someone's heart is touched today and that you will prick their hearts to join our family. Uh, may those who know you, Lord, desire for your word more. Give us uh, your heart and your eyes and your hands, and may we be ambassadors of your gospel to those around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed day.